Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Make sure you like this YouTube video. It really helps me with the YouTube algorithm and also helps me to create more content like this. So inflation is running high, it's rampant. Prices at the pump are insane. Wages have not gone up to keep up with the cost of inflation. And what does this mean? This is a recipe for excessive, you got it, credit card swiping, which is why before it gets out of control, you need to work smart to pay off all that debt you accumulated, which is why I would consider moving your high credit card balances to a 0% rate transfer card. Here's why I like this strategy. On most credit cards, the APR or annual percentage rate can be as high as 28%. That's a very, very high. Um, that's just an insane amount of interest to be paying on balances that can get out of control really quick, especially in times like this. So by transferring your high balances into a zero APR uh, card or a zero APR um, credit card, you can budget yourself accordingly and pay off that balance in one or two years if you're disciplined based on those uh, introductory terms of the card that you transfer over to. Now I would call up your credit card company to see if they have an offer like this before applying for a new card. If your existing card offers this, that's great because then you could just transfer over all your other credit card balances over to uh, the card that's gonna give you that uh, introductory offer. Or if you can find a card that has these good terms, uh, you can go with that one instead. And I would look for a minimum of a one year, 0% APR. Um, if you can get more like 13 months, that's even better. But also keep in mind that these cards have a balance transfer fee, which can range anywhere from three to 5% of the balance that's being transferred. In addition, your minimum monthly payment can go up as well. So. However, you just have to budget and plan accordingly and you can knock out all this credit card debt you accumulated and return your credit card balances below the 30% utilization, which is recommended by the credit bureaus. So what do you think? Is this a good strategy to reduce paying high interest on your credit cards? Leave your comment below and I'll see you guys on the next one.